How's it going, everybody? Uh, let's go ahead and get into the pickups. We're going to continue the Japanese PlayStation 2 box that I started last week and hopefully finish it up next week. It looks like we're going to have roughly 80-ish pickups for this week, so settle in for a long one. It's going to be that kind of day again, but let's see if we can't get through this as much as possible. And as, of course, in no particular order, I'm just going to start grabbing. This is all I see. And uh, I'm going to start opening it up, and we'll see what we got. I have no idea of what to expect. I do know that all of these are PlayStation 2 games. So here we go. Oh, nice. Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance for the PlayStation 2. I actually have two copies of Metal Gear 3, but I don't have any copies of Metal Gear 2. And as expected, more clips are broken. Oh, Lord. I probably have all the Final Fantasy XI copies. I don't know about that, Yana. This is nice, though, that it's complete in box. That is a very, very large manual. Holy crap. That's amazing. Uh, love the mirror sheen on this uh, disc. That's really nice. I like that. Next up. Oh, looks like I have another. Wait, what's going on here? What is going on here? Wait. Oh. Oh, hold on. So this is wrapped with a rubber band. Okay. Okay. Interesting. A two disc. This says Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. And Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. This is a tactical espionage action uh what's going on here though what is this is this some part of a oh, hello okay comic interesting is this how all copies came i don't i don't know if there's a difference between the two versions. Let me go grab mine real quick. I want to see if there's any sort of difference between the uh, these two versions. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. This is definitely not a copy that I have. But if we look here. So this is the 8th Game Awards Future. And, I mean, we get, we're looking at different covers, and this copy only has one disc. So, and this is not the same sized book. Um, yeah, that's, that's very interesting. I don't know what the differences are, really. Uh, other than, so I have this amazing looking manual. Oh yeah, this is just a pamphlet. Okay. Well, a tiny pamphlet. Nice. Okay. So that acts as the manual. This bigger part right here. And then I have this... Can't call it a slipcover, but... I mean, I don't know what to call it. So, 1800 yen. Is this their greatest hits version? So, it comes with both. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater and Metal Gear slash Metal Gear 2. Oh, what? Hold on. So it comes with three different games. Oh, that's so cool. Huh. Wow, so this is some sort of compilation. That's awesome. So it comes with the... Uh... Okay, that's really freaking cool. I love this. Love it. That's really neat. I'm happy to have this. That's cool. Alright. Uh, sure. Let's see if we can't read that. Uh, that is SLPM 55236-7. 
Because my GoPro doesn't want to focus. Rude. That's really neat. I am happy that this exists. Nice. I'm only two games in. I've already rabbit holed. Huh. Whoa. This is from from software. The story of Yoshi's Yoshi to. Yep, that one. What is this one, guys? Any ideas? Oh, no manual. That's a shame. Great news, the clips are intact. <laughs> huh. Any ideas? Of which one this is? Hmm. Job Island was distributed by Konami. What do you mean? Whoa, what is this coming up? All I see is a whole lot of gold. All right. So. The baseball. That Metal Gear Solid 3 compilation is the Konami. Dendao selection. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. I want to say I have this with the uh, the tiger's slipcover on it. I could be wrong, but man, that's that's some gold cover right there. We're gonna need to. Uh, I have a lot of work to do to identify these different versions and whatnot. And I have the oh, all right. That's awesome. Eco, the greatest hits version. Oh, wow. Complete in box. Nice, dude. I don't think I have a black label. I don't think I have any foreign copies of this, so this makes me all sorts of happy. That's really cool. Oh, for sure I don't have that in my collection. Fantastic. That makes me happy. Nice. Winning 11, 2010. Uh, I don't have this one. For sure, I do not have this one. Uh, I see a problem, though. Winning 11-9? Disc. Nowhere do I see the number 9. So... This is probably n a mismatch. I do not, Iron Chef. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that this is the right version of the game uh i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on this one and uh see if i can't get to the bottom of that i don't i don't think it was the 2010 version because i remember there being a winning 11 9. all right that's one of these down here comes the next one it looks like i have some sort of interesting clear case that'll be coming up so mlb power pros this looks like the second one, I'm guessing, with a nice broken manual clip, which is perfectly annoying. <sighs> but it is complete in box, and it looks great. I am excited about that. I, as I said before, I love the MLB Power Pro series. I think it's just freaking awesome. I love the graphics. And they're really fun to play, at least on the Wii, because that's all the experience of the MLB Power Pro series I have. Next up, oh. So, I want to say I already own this. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. I don't think my copy included this. So, Powerful Major League? Uh, yeah. It's like Powerful Baseball or something like that. Yeah, I want to say I already own this game, but I do believe that uh, it did not come with either of these two. So this will probably go in my collection, and then I will have a duplicate of this 
and have it put up for trade. So that's cool. Thick boy, how did you survive with your manual clips? <laughs> awesome. Somebody will be happy with that. I'm thinking Neo Mecha. Yeah, <laughs> as I see him say, ooh. Hey! Nice! Resident Evil Code Veronica? All right. Oh, that's not good. I'm scared. Let's see if I can't. Hi. I don't see any scratches. That's super scary. Wait, what? Uh-oh. So this includes disc two of Devil May Cry Trial Edition. So does that mean that this included a, a trial version? Yes. Okay, great. So it is just flat out complete in box. I thought I thought we were gonna have an issue here, but uh, it looks like that it's just complete in box and includes the uh, the demo disc, which is great. I am completely okay with that. Awesome. Resident Evil Code Veronica. Uh, okay. I don't know which baseball game this is, but it's here and it's complete in box, so that's cool. And oh, is that what that is? So we could in three now. I want. Ooh. Pardon me, manual. Nice. Wow. Like that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it says here. It's probably hard to read. But it says, if one believes in the path before them, they follow it as this is human nature. Pretty interesting. Um, I'm not sure why they... Yeah, that's a minty disc. Perfect. Uh, I'm not sure why they would uh, put these in clear cases. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, and you know why it is that these are in clear cases... Please let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, as far as the actual game, I want to say that I have a version of Suikoden 3. This is the Black Label version. I don't have this in my collection. So I am excited. This is Pro Yaku Spirits 3. Or is it this? No, it's not this. Because Suikoden is special? That's fair. That's fair. That makes sense. Pretty sure I already own that in my collection, but need to make sure um, that it's not... Oh. And it's never the top or the bottom. <laughs> it's just random. So that's the only crappy thing about this uh, particular deal that I got. All right, two down. Many more to go. Wow. She, the ultimate weapon. Remember that anime? Sad ending? It's awfully light, so... Oh, okay, no, it's all here. It's just a small manual. Okay. Thank you, Neo Mecha. Appreciate that, buddy. Awesome. I mean, it's a game that I don't have in my collection, so... And it's not a visual novel. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> What's next? Oh my god, Foxy. <laughs> I don't think Foxy's here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't have this in my collection. I believe I picked up, what, four last time? I'm looking real quick. Yep. So the one that I have in my collection is Summon Night 4. This one is Summon Night 3. 
That's awesome. The clips survived, even though, despite the fact that this is a very thick manual. That's really cool. Love it. Summon Knight and Summon Knight 2 on the original PlayStation, apparently. Good to know. But here is Summon Knight 3. That will go very nicely against Summon Knight 4, so awesome. That's exciting. It's one of those tennis games, but I don't know if I own this one or not. See if I can't uh, quickly look at that. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think I own this one. Great. Fantastic. Awesome. Let's see if it actually says. Yeah. Okay. So this, the disc does match the case. Great. I don't watch sports anime. I mean, I like tennis games. I don't know how much of that is actually tennis, though. Uh, so this is part of the Simple 2000 series. It's the very first one. Interesting. It says Ultimate. I don't know what that means. Uh, it is a tennis game. Just from the court, the look of the court, and the fact that everybody's holding tennis rackets. Uh, no idea. I don't know what the deal is with this Ultimate thing right here. Uh, that's covering it. But, uh... I wonder if that, good lord, it's barely tennis. <laughs> All right. And it's even got ultimate on the, uh, the discard as well. So is this not really the very first uh, Simple 2000 series? Is there a different series, Ultimate Volume 1? Maybe. Kingdom Hearts. I already own this. 12 times. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have to look. Um, do I have the original Kingdom Hearts Black Label? I don't know the answer to that. Yes, I do. Just looked at my database. I sure do. So that is a duplicate. And another one of these tennis anime games that I don't have. I owned three. Here's two more. I don't know how many there are, but uh, there is definitely two more for the collection that I don't already own. So, great. Love Smash, you say? I think I've seen that movie. Really lucky. <laughs> it does. It does indeed. I mean, there's a dude with the teddy bear. Like I said, I don't know how much uh, in actual tennis we would be playing if I were to play that game. Huh. Next up. I'm sure it was lucky. It's fine. All right. Oh. So I already own this um, uh, mystery disc. It is the same disc, though. That's good. It's kind of weird to have Mario music playing while I'm showing off PlayStation 2 games, but cool. So I already own this. Um, this is now a duplicate. And that's kind of sad. <laughs> but, you know. I'm sure it's going to go to a happy home somewhere. Uh, my Naruto is very shady. I'm not entirely sure if I own this or not. I think I do. I think this is Ultimate Ninja 3. And I do already own it if it is Ultimate Ninja 3. Now, whether or not I have a two-disc version, I don't know. Yeah, I... I 
I think I remember these discs, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I do own this, and I do own a two-disc version. So, another duplicate that gets to go into the duplicates. Dibs if dupe. Or, well, I don't know if I'm selling today, <laughs> but I'm sure I will be selling these at some point. Now, this is... Uh, if this is what I think it is... Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, Ultimate Hero 2. And I already own this one as well. We could trade with some of the PAL games in the upcoming package. Sounds good, dude. Yeah, I mean, I always prefer a trade more than I do just getting money. It's more fun that way. Oh my gosh, I have a fan here. And I already own this one as well, so... <laughs> Crazy. So that's three Naruto duplicates just right in a row. Man. That's the bummer of buying in bulk. You never know uh, how many unique titles you're going to get. But i got to be honest, I've had incredible success with this particular... Oh, look, a black label Devil May Cry. I wonder if I actually own a black label Devil May Cry. You have all my Naruto games? Yeah, that's fair. Let's see. Devil May Cry... Uh, it looks like I do have the black label, yes. So this is a duplicate as well. Strike it out with this one. <laughs> oh no, well it's another duplicate. But it's a good one. Summon Knight 3, that's awesome. That's really cool. I'm sure Foxy would, uh, wouldn't mind this one at all. That's really cool. That's actually really amazing. I'm very happy that I have a duplicate of that. So that's it for that one. Goodness. Oh. Looks like in this particular package, we have a silver case. I don't know. I mean, every time I look at a silver case, I think Xbox, original Xbox Platinum Hits. But uh, I don't know. Oh boy, I can already tell this is going to be a great one. <laughs> oh no. Huh. Oh. In case you haven't dis uh, discovered, this is in fact a duplicate. Another Naruto game. Ah, do I own this one? I don't know. That looks awfully familiar. That's super... That's... I don't know what's going on there. Is that... Part of the art? Or is that tearing of the top label? It looks like tearing of the top label, but it might be just part of the art. I don't know. Do you sell the extras to put back into the collection? Yes, yes. Any any amount of uh, revenue that I get from anything, uh, subs, um, donations, etc., and the selling of my duplicates all go back into acquiring games for the collection so for sure thank you iron chef for verifying that i was super concerned another black label devil may cry i mean let's be honest i started today owning 235 unique japanese playstation 2 games so i'm not i can't i can't be mad i cannot be mad the best version of devil may cry 3 i do you have this if this is the special edition it is so i do have a copy of this already so there was your uh gray case so this is also a duplicate and will be sold for sure a dragon ball z game that i already own as well so another duplicate man starting to get a little rough 
What in the world? Cannon. This looks super scary. Oh yeah, that's super scary. <laughs> it is complete in box and I don't believe I own it, so yay? <laughs> yay, Cannon. I haven't seen a dupe of Initial D yet. Yeah, I know, right? That's actually really exciting. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and tell you, Iron Chef, because you donated that initial D to me. Um, this might actually be a duplicate, guys. So keep your eye out for that if that interests you. Um, if I did get a duplicate of initial D, I would keep the copy that you gave to me. Because I appreciate you. Next up. Mountain Vengeance? Uh, no, it's initial stage. Special stage. Is that what it is? I thought it was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special stage. Sorry. Everybody's golf. The very first one. Interesting. And awesome. Because I don't have this in my collection. Now, what I do have that's already in my collection is uh, everybody's golf three and four. Now, I don't know if that is actually the very first one, but I know I don't have this. This is called Golf Paradise. Oh, you're right. It's not Sony. My bad. Thank you, Iron Chef, for keeping me on track. By the way, I don't own it. And that makes me happy. Oh, hey, <laughs> the bouncer. Nice. Not nice. Holy crap. No. This looks all right. Was this the first game that Square Enix made for the PlayStation 2? New IP? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about it wrong. But uh, cool that I have a Japanese copy of the bouncer. Swing away golf. Th okay. Thank you, Iron Chef. Onimusha. Nice. Might already own this one, though. Checking real quick. And just so you can see what I'm seeing, guys... This is the database that I utilize to keep track of everything. And right now I'm under the J Japanese PlayStation 2. I see that I have 235 games here. And then I could scroll through and look at this one. And then look at the cover. And that is a match. So I do know I already have this one. So it goes in the duplicate pile. And that's how I discover on what type of uh, duplicates I have. That actually saves me a little bit of time. Hey Gronkle, are you here by any chance? Hey, this is, I don't know if this is Dynasty Warriors or not. I mean, it looks like, or it could be Kesson. That's definitely not Dynasty Warriors. Yes, I did, Grunkle. Uh, I was just curious if you were here. Um, because I wanted to show you something. Three Kingdoms, ten. Okay. Oh, is this Romance of the Three Kingdoms? The tenth one? Is that what this is? Gotcha. You know, I've always wanted to get into this. Okay, keeping your eyes on the screen. Well, could you tell me, Grunkle, what this one is? Is there? Would you happen to know what this one might be? I, I was, I was curious if you might have had a an inkling as to what. I <laughs> oh my God! So, for those of you watching on YouTube, <laughs> 
for those of you watching on YouTube after the fact, uh, Grunkle has been hoping and praying to see this come up in my collection, and I just pulled it. And that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> that is awesome, and I am so happy to have this in my collection. I saw it, and I was like, oh, great! <laughs> this perfect! That is so awesome. That is so great. <laughs> wow. Awesome, dude. We've been through, what, uh, over 300 Japanese games together. Showing off these pickups, and I've yet to be able to find one until just now. Sweat and tears. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. Looks like a compilation sports game with story elements? Red flag. Yoink. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, so far we're good. So, two disc. And you were right. Perfect love. There. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Neomecha. I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, I will read that here in just a second. Just a second. That Japanese Jack and Daxter just now? Neomecha, are you sponsoring that Japanese version of Jack and Daxter? Is that what you're saying? You got it, buddy. Alrighty, sounds good. We'll go ahead and get to that here in a little bit. Oh, goodness. Next up. I mean, Iron Chef, I'm honestly wondering. I'm honestly wondering if that is actually a thing. Uh, or if I already did get some. Right? Because you guys keep saying things like not lewd or lewd. You know? It's a thing. Oh, I know it's a thing, but are you sure I didn't already get some? That Jack and Daxter is too awesome? I got you, Neo Mecha. Oh, got it. Okay, Iron Chef. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. <laughs> so, what is this? By Capcom. It doesn't look familiar. Onimusha 2? Okay. Great. Hey, Grunkle. Thanks for... Precursor leggy. Oh, oh my gosh. Stop it. You guys... Relax on that for just a second, will ya? <laughs> no. Uh, Warriors Orochi that I already have, so this is a duplicate. So that goes in the duplicates pile. MLB Power Pros. Eight. Uh, I might already have this one. It's code H. And are you talking about down here? How it sometimes... Here, just a... There. Like, that's an A, that's a B. So if it's bad, then it's an H. Is that correct? Oh, okay. It's our internal code. Okay, fair. <laughs> More MLB Power Pros. Number 13 for the 2006 season. No manual. That stinks, because I don't think I own this one yet. But I do have the disc. I do already have this one as well, so that's a shame. See, that's why I'm thinking that other one, this one right here, has the wrong disc in it. Because it clearly says 9, and nothing about it says 2010, right? And this is 2008. So, yeah, I'm really thinking that I have the wrong disc here, which stinks. 
finally winning 11.6, which I want to say I already own. This is a CD. So for those of you who don't know, the Blue Bottom PS2 games are actually CDs and not DVDs. So that's how you can tell if it's 750 megabytes or 4.7 gigabytes on the data disk. Boom. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. I think this is the second one I've shown off just today. Uh, I should have a broken clip somewhere, and it's not here. It's weird. Ah. Maybe it wasn't this one in particular. Hang on a second, Grunkle, for that, if you don't mind. Oh boy, this this one I can tell is just going to be nothing but duplicates. Because <laughs> I have a lot of these. Not that I'm upset, because I, I do enjoy this series. The Dynasty Warriors franchise, I actually enjoy them quite a bit. Now what I haven't played is a Dynasty's Tactics game. And that sounds so up my alley. I'm going to have to just go through and figure out which ones of these I already have and which ones I don't. Come on, Final Fantasy XII, call Iron Chef. Be nice to me, man. Be nice. <laughs> we'll do, Grunkle. We'll do, buddy. Uh, number four? I honestly don't know if I have this one. But again, like I said, I'm just going to have to go through. Um, so typically what I do when I have like a big stack of these is uh, I'll just take all of these physically to my uh shelf that contains all the japanese playstation 2 games and i'll if i do already have it i'll pull that one off the shelf and then i'll look at this one i'll compare the disc i'll compare the manual the case all the condition i'll kind of frankenstein them together to make the best copy put that on my shelf whatever's left over put on the trade shelf uh and i think everybody does that as a collector and, you know i could be wrong I, i've never heard of a collector explaining the process of how they handle their duplicates but if i had to guess that's how most people um handle their duplicates so all right and finally from this one well, it's not a uh, Dynasty Warriors game. Uh, what did we say the other one was? That was Onimusha 2, so this is Onimusha 1? Yes, Onimusha 1. Great. I don't know if I own Onimusha 1 or 2. Uh, I own Onimusha Warlords, and... That other one that I saw in English that I was showing you. But I don't know if I own the original Onimusha or Onimusha 2. So that's really exciting. Oh, goodness. We are about halfway done, guys. Eh, maybe a little bit more than halfway. Yeah, it's a little bit more than halfway. All right, next up. Starting to see more and more duplicates, guys. This is uh this is about the time that I really stop buying in bulk for um for a console is when I start to get to about the 200 to 300 mark, then I start seeing more duplicates than non-duplicates. I mean, it's inevitable, right? It's going to happen. A lot of these are going to be nice and common titles. Um, you see that in every console. So I probably won't be buying in bulk for Japanese PlayStation 2 anymore. Uh, but I will be buying it. Oh. Okay, that's neat. <laughs> Any game that causes me to just stop talking. Wow, I hate that the clip broke off. Where's the... 
Where are these clips? Look at this disc art, guys. Oh my god. That's incredible. That's crazy. It's like they wanted you to have a hard time reading it. <laughs> That's really sharp. I love this. I love this. That's really cool. I am very happy to see this. That's more than neat to me. I, oh, man. That's really cool. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't even remember. What is this? This is new. Oh, bulk purchase. Yeah. I would love to do a bulk NES purchase. Um, I honestly can't say that I've done that for just NES. Wasn't it a two-disc set for this in the U.S.? For this one? Hang on. I want to say I own this the U.S. version. Wow, that's pretty. Together like that. Really cool. Oh, yeah. It sure is. Interesting. Typically, when it's two discs, it says two discs. Like, very plainly. And I don't see that here. And it's a clear case because of the back art. Um, and there's no option for a, another disc to be here. So, I don't think this was... A two-disc game. In other words, I don't think I'm missing anything, but it for sure is here. Interesting. Yeah, because just like this, it says two discs right here. There's an outer cardboard box for it in the U.S.? Really? Well, I didn't know that. Well, I don't have that. That's disappointing. Interesting. That explains this. There's no explanation of the game. So that makes sense now. Cool. Thanks, man. I learned something new today. I learned that my copy needs a slipcover. <laughs> Ours must be the international version. Yeah, true. Back to this, though. What is this? Any ideas from anybody? Banshee's Last Cry. Interesting. Alright. Visual and sound novel. Got it. Interesting. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I get all excited because I got something new and then I get it twice in a row. Come on, man. <laughs> Aw. Boo. This is a duplicate for sure. Which is nice because it's Final Mix Plus. Um, I do have uh, duplicates already of Final Mix. And Kingdom Hearts, but not Final Mix Plus. So uh, I'm sure somebody's going to want this. So I'm not at all upset about that. Oh, I believe I already have. Have you ever known a PlayStation 2 game to have a black back? Because that's what we're looking at. Is that a thing? Never have I ever seen a black backed. Hey, oh, honey. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. This is not Kingdom Hearts, it's Tales of Fantasia for the PS1. What? 
What is going on here? Still good. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. So now this is an empty case. What is going on? Tales of Fantasian? If that were only the US for yeah, no kidding. No kidding. I mean I don't mind that it's not. I don't mind that at all. But it's interesting. I mean that's how random can you get, right? I mean I guess if this was a Dreamcast game inside this, I, that would be more random, but that's cool. Alright. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'll put that in the loose discs of Japanese games that I don't have a case of manual for. Which is sad. I mean, I'm, I am i don't see me ever completing that. But uh, it will count towards the collection total. Or if it were a PC CD game, yeah, that would be random as well. So, uh, Miss R to Care, you're going to have to pick a game to sponsor. Hope you know that. Oh, this is nice. I know that some of you uh, like the Tales of series, and I already have this. So, this is great. I now have a duplicate, and this will be up for grabs. Um, I'm probably going to do a stream after Christmas that uh, gets rid of all of the duplicates to you guys on Twitch. So expect that. I expect that. Now, I do believe I already have this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. There you go. But it is complete, so and it is a duplicate, so. Hot Shots Golf 3. Now, I don't know if I have... Give me just a second. I'm going to look. And it is... Everybody's Golf 3. Hot Shots Golf 3. Okay, I do have the black label. Okay. So, I do have this. This is a... Dup Guys! <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't sure if it was the best version, the, their greatest hits or not. These mysteries, I'm telling you. <laughs> what are we going to pull out of here now? <laughs> this is crazy. What is going on? It's a mint quality. Oh, it's not mint. No, there's definitely some surface scratches there. You guys ready? What's a really expensive Japanese PlayStation 1 game? Harmful Park. Harmful Park. This is what I hope it is. It's Harmful Park. Ready? What the crap? <laughs> well, it's Everybody's Golf 1 for the PlayStation 1. <laughs> awesome. Yay, me. <laughs> Great. All right, <laughs> we'll just keep going. I'm just hoping at this point for a... Uh... Okay, so I don't actually have this. So I do have the best version of this, but not the black label version. So what I'm hoping for right now is that the black label disc is actually in here. <laughs> it cover looks faded. Oh, for sure it does. Yeah, uh, you could definitely tell that it's faded. All right. Awesome. Oh, this has been heavily resurfaced. Look at this. You can still see the... Uh, you probably can't. There's still some of the white residue from a resurfacer. Um, yeah. But, you know what? It'll count. And I need this in my collection. Boo. <laughs> I mean, not boo. Hopefully somebody else in chat likes Dynasty Warriors, because I'm going to have a lot of those to get rid of. Oh, nice. I don't think I have this one. I could be totally wrong. I have so many. But, yeah, I, like I said, I will uh, look at that at some other time. Well, interesting. Two, uh, two mystery PlayStation 1 games in my PlayStation 2 lot. 
I apologize for the dog if you can hear her. Next up, new package. As the dog goes zooming by. What is this? Oh, nice! So, Tales of the Abyss, 10th anniversary. I don't know if I have this in my collection. I could not tell you. Um, I want to say that I already own a version of this. Here, come look with me. It is Tales. Let's just keep scrolling. No. Okay, look. So I have the best version. Not the black label version. So this is a need. I need this for my collection. That is awesome. Works for me. Good deal. Oh, nice. Tekken Tag Tournament for the PS2. Very nice. And it's here. That's even better. <laughs> That's great. Dead or Alive? Dead or Alive 2. Nice. Very nice. I played this on the Dreamcast quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. I also played the first one on PlayStation 1. Whoa. Do I have this one? Alpha? Something alpha? What is this one? Is this... What is this? Metabots? Is that... Is that what this is? I don't remember. You guys know. Um, I don't remember, though. Super Robot Tyson Alpha. Okay. Great. I don't know if I have this. Uh, but it's not listed in my database as Super Robot. It's listed as something else, and I don't know what that is. So I, I will check, obviously, later to see if I already own this. <laughs> 100 yen. <laughs> Buy it for a buck. Well, I bought it for a dollar forty-eight. so... But I already have this, which means it's a duplicate, which means it's up for sale or trade. Boom. I already have this one as well. So there's going to be quite a few of these guys. Um, I have to meet up with Romanian Dark One. Uh, he and I love to trade games back and forth, and he's my only local trader, so... He obviously gets dibs on all my duplicates, but uh, I don't know, guys. I, you know, I'm, I'm, you're hearing me say a lot that there are duplicates, there are duplicates, but you know what? I'm still really happy that I did this. Really happy, and I'm not done, right? There's still more to go, even after today. But we're not done today. We got more. Let's get into it. All right. Another copy of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> All right. So that's the third copy, second duplicate. Uh, sparking. I want to say I have this already. Dainiji Super Robot Wars Tyson Alpha. Is that what I have? The other one that I have of those? In my database as Dainiji. I think I have this already. You don't see it on my list. Yeah, I know I have something like that. Oh. Okay, so Sparking Neo. I don't know if I have this. And that is Sparking Neo. Great. Nice. I don't think I have this one. 
Uh, I don't think I have this one, do I, guys? Hmm. I could. Hero one. I don't know if I have this. I don't think I do. I don't have Neo. Great. I don't think I have this one either. Could be wrong. Okay, Yakuza 2. But I want to say that I have something weird going on with Yakuza. Oh, that's right. It's not listed under Yakuza. Best Yakuza? Nice. Uh, maybe I do already have it. Uh, I'll have to check. Like, I want to say that there was something to do with a, uh, uh, like, a red border and then a yellow border, but it wasn't the best version type of thing. I, oh, I have this? Okay. Gotcha. So I do have the black label. Got it. Well, I have a duplicate up for trade. Last one of this one. Nice. Nice. I think I already have it. I have Dale Tales of Destiny 1 and 2. Uh, so yet another duplicate. And now I have a set that somebody else can own. Which is really cool. But that's awesome. The red-white stuff is the first Yakuza. Gotcha. Okay. Guys, I only have two more packages. I think. Oh my god. Guys, this box is four layers deep, not three. <laughs> is it really? That's a joke, right? Oh my gosh, guys, this is four layers deep and not three. I thought it was three layers deep. Ah! Oh, rip. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm going to go a little bit further in the into this box for this video then. Uh, I think we already unboxed this one today. Hey! <laughs> hey! That's back! <laughs> Pocket complains he's got more of a deal. That's fair. That's fair. That looks like a PlayStation 1 memory card, not a PlayStation 2. Now playing. Interesting. Interesting. That's PlayStation 1 for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's a... Oh, wow. What's this? It looks like it has the same art style as two others that I already own in my collection. I mean, I can't be 100% certain, but it looks like it. Did I ever get a pocket station? No. I really want one. I want a pocket station complete in box. That's what I want. Um. Romance of the Three Kingdoms? It sure looks like it. Oof, that manual. Well loved. This looks like a Romance of the Three Kingdoms game. Oh, it could be. Nomboga's Ambition, yeah. It could. It's uh, Sierra Lima Papa Mike 62148. Really? Will this one have a memory card too? No. No. But if I don't have this uh, insert, then cool. Last one of this. Kesson. I already have it. So this is a duplicate. 
That is some awesome manual cover art. For real. Looks great. All right, well, we're just gonna keep right on going. This this was supposed to be the last one. <laughs> but uh, I guess we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> I blame you, Iron Chef. 100% blame you. Uh... Everybody's going to get a Christmas card from me, and it's going to contain a copy of Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> I almost feel as if we're just going to go for... Um, a whole one of these that are nothing but duplicates. Every single one. 62148 is Nomuga's Ambition, Chronicles of Turbulent Times. Thank you so very much, Yana. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, I think I already own this. Yep. No manual on this one, though. So that stinks. But it is a duplicate, and it will go into the trade pile. Oh, wow. All right. Well, we got saved. <laughs> By a slot machine, and I'm only saying slot machine because of Sammy down here. From my understanding, they only made slot machine games. Look at that. I mean, this looked like a precursor to Africa on the PlayStation 3. I was getting excited. Then it let me down. But I don't own it in my collection. So it stays. Last one of this one. Should be the last one of uh, the pickups for today. Whoa. I don't think I own this. Looks interesting. Manual clips managed to stay intact. Despite the fact that this is a very thick manual. Super Robot Wars. Got it. Original Generations. Looks pretty cool. Alright, and I'm going to keep going. Oh my god. Okay. So, I'm very happy that I'm still going. Because I don't know what I just pulled out of here, but I am excited. What in the world is this? This isn't even what I was excited about. It's the other thing that's in here that I'm excited about. Oh my god, what is going on here? So, this is like textured cardstock. This is crazy. Oh, wow. That I highly doubt that that's real leather. I, holy crap. This is incredible looking. Isn't this the pocket station cat or whatever? This is cool, man. I was waiting for, like, an MLB Power Pros to be inside this case. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's what I'm highlighting here is the production value. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. That's some nice little art. That's really cool. Wow. This, uh, this bookmark is just insane. That is incredible. A little bit of a nick and a scuff here, so that that kind of stinks. But uh, I don't. Oh, okay, so it's supposed to go like this. Trying to put everything back the way that it was. I want to make sure that this. Uh, I might have to stuff that in here in a little bit. Hang on. I don't want to mess up this uh, this sleeve. This sleeve is freaking awesome. 
I say that, and I'm trying to mess it up, so... There we go. That was almost perfect. Almost perfect. And then we'll go ahead and put this guy right back in here. Just like that. We'll push this guy back up a little bit. Perfect. There we go. That is super freaking cool. That is really... Oh, man, this... This is really neat. I don't, I, I don't know. That's just really cool to me. Breeding simulation. Interesting. This is a big box PlayStation 2 game. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh wait. I gotta turn this over. Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. With the amazing slipcover. Platinum Limited. That's freaking cool. So what does this come with? I gotta know. Wow. Alright. So it comes with a copy of the game. Which we've seen before. But, what is this? What are the things in here? It's heavy, so it's got at least one of the things in here. I'm hoping for completeness. Holy crap! <laughs> that is super cute. With the little toy you could put in his hand? That's amazing. He's fully posable. I mean, jeez. He's got joints, like, everywhere. It's almost as if they tried to make him a Lego character with more joints than a Lego character. I uh, These are pins. Little buttons. Additional tracks. It does have the CD in it. Let's look at the art. Pretty freaking awesome. And then the last thing in here. Oh, no, there's more. Hang on. Uh, looks like a postcard. This looks like a bunch of postcards. This is a bunch of postcards in a very interesting CD jewel case that is difficult to open. But it contains a bunch of postcards. Okay, I'm being pretty right now. Apparently, I don't know how to open a jewel case. Wow. Here, we're going to do this. Nice little moogle there. That mean goofy. Like he's gonna beat somebody up. Don't know why they're so fascinated with pins. I don't know either, man. That's awesome! That is really freaking cool. I love it. Oh. There was still something left else in here. This looks like a bunch of stickers. It's a bunch of different stickers. That is awesome. Incredible. How much did I pay for this? Oh, a dollar forty-eight. That's all right. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Fantastic. Hey, Watson Punk, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate it, buddy. This is too freaking cool. I love it. I love it. Now watch me rip the box.
I also love the fact that it actually has the uh, the plastic cover, the slip cover. That is an incredible collector's edition that I really do miss. <laughs> the days when collector's editions were like $10 more and it included that much stuff. That is incredible. I love it. I love it. That looks absolutely amazing to me. I, yeah. That's probably going to go in my collection, uh, Spine Out, just because it, it shows the uh, how thick this, this edition is. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the front art, so it's just going to sit on a, you know, Spine Out, Spine Showing. That's really cool. Hey, Yami. Really neat. I love it. I love it. Next up. Uh, I have not. She had just gotten home right before I started the stream, Yami. I will. Don't worry. Uh, do I have this one already? I don't know. Truly don't know. I will, Yami. I promise, man. I'll let you know. Like, as soon as possible. Uh, this mixed... Yeah, I think I do own this one. The 14... 1,480 yen and mixed joy. I want to say I already own this version. Gonna have to check on that 1480 yen, though. For sure. What is this? I'm scared already. Whoa. What in the world is this? Boo! No manual. On a game I know I don't own. That's a shame. I have no idea what this is. It looks... that This looks super scary. <laughs> what is going on there? Yikes. Winning 11-5, Final Evolution. I don't think I have this one. Ah, damn. Come on now, guys. I mean, listen to me. Like, I'm upset. Like, I haven't gotten one heck of a deal already, right? Kingdom Hearts 2, I know I have this one already. So this is a duplicate and will be up for sale. Or trade. Preferable for trades. I need to set that up, guys. When do you guys want to have a... Um, sales slash trading event here on stream. I would like to do that at some point. It'll probably be after the new year, but... Uh, and if you have suggestions on how to run something like that, that would be a whole lot of fun. I would really enjoy doing that here on uh, Twitch. All right, now come on. Another copy of Kesson, so this one is up for trade as well, but I gotta see if uh, I need these inserts first. I think I already have this. I was going to say probably I'm not until after the new year for sure, yeah. Until February? Sure thing, Grunkle. I got you, buddy. Uh, MLB Power Pro number seven. I don't think I own this one. That disc art looks really, really, really cool. Oh, God. <laughs> no! Ah. <sighs> Whoa. A simple 2000 RPG? Is this like Darkstone? What is going on here? Volume number 20? Oh, thank God it's here. I wonder what this is. Can you imagine? It looks like it was made with uh, RPG Maker. <laughs> That's so cool. I love this, though. That's amazing. That is great. 62271, SLPM 662, or I'm sorry, 62271. 
the dungeon RPG. That is great. <laughs> I need to find an English patch and I need to stream this. <laughs> I want to see how bad it is or how good it is. I mean, shoot, I played some ridiculously amazing $20 RPGs. Are you kidding? Oh, goodness. What is that? Hold on. Oh my god, what is this? Uh... I have no idea what this is. But it's a big box. And I'm honestly kind of scared. Oh god. Alright, I'm going to tell you the name of it. Iron Chef, I want you to tell me before I show this on stream, if this is an okay game to show on stream, that you know. Yes. Iron Chef. It's called Two Heart. Two Heart. This is an incredibly large box. Oh my god. Okay, I feel comfortable showing this to you. Because I don't see anything too horrible. Now, this doesn't look like much until I put it next to a standard DVD case. It's that much bigger. This is a DVD case. This thing is ginormous. <laughs> what is going on? And it's a... It's all plastic. It's a hard plastic case. I'm opening this. Not there. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, this is like a, a, a 8 and a half by 11 pieces of paper right here. I should not be doing that. Ah! Okay, this looks like a, oh, it is, it's a 2005 calendar that I'm not showing. Obviously, this is limited edition. <laughs> oh my god. Good grief. Good grief. It's a $28 to $50 game. All right. Well, I paid a dollar. 48. That's cool. I'm never going to play it. But that is a very, very large case. So, unfortunately, it's going to be front and center on the top of my Japanese PlayStation 1 shelf. <laughs> Just sitting there chilling. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Absolutely not, Iron Chef. Oh, Lord. What is my favorite thing of the day? Because this is the last thing I was going to show. My favorite thing of the day has to be this special edition of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. It has to be. Uh, what's my second favorite thing? Honestly, I'm kind of excited about that. But I can't say that that's my second favorite thing. I would say Summon Night 3 is my second favorite find of the day. Oh, no, that's not true. This is my second favorite find of the day. This, this, this is just so unique and so different. And then Summon Night 3. That's what I'm most excited about. It's just so freaking good. I love this thing, man. This thing is just amazing. <laughs> this is too cool. I, I, I don't, Iron Chef. <laughs> but this is number one for sure. I love it. I love it. Uh, this is about number 10. I mean, it's interesting to see the packet. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Well, maybe it's okay. Um... 
it's interesting to see the packaging and stuff, right? This is a gigantic box that, you know, the only stuff that we got here in the United States that's large like this is like the, the Dance Dance Revolution with a dance mat, right? Can confirm not not H? Oh, great. Thank you, Neomeka. Um, but this is crazy. I, I, I do appreciate it for just, you know, being able to see this for what it is. Um, a large production quality of a limited edition that's completely, you know, encased in plastic and not just a cardboard box. So that's really cool in of itself. I feel like I'm holding a gigantic PlayStation 2 game, right? So the packaging is really cool in that regard. I just think that's neat. Am I ever going to play it? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no way. Not my style of game. But uh, it's pretty cool that, it hit, that it's here. The Doko demo game sells for 20 bucks? What? Did I get that? My goodness. So that was uh, more than 80 games. Um, happy with the pulls so far, guys. I, I'm steadily growing the Japanese PlayStation 2 collection. And uh, obviously that's not more. I have more North American pickups. Uh, but I'm going to save them for a couple weeks from now. Uh, I would like to finish off this box as soon as I can. So uh, we will do that very soon. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate a subscription. I do pickups like this um, every every week, once a week here on YouTube. And we stream live every Saturday at 1 p.m. EST on Twitch. So if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, I would appreciate a subscription. And hopefully I've earned that today. Thanks so much for watching.